Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninas. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off. This is episode 12 of 120 Days to Jump Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at this set of questions. Remember, we are still under number and numeration, the first two parts of number and numeration. It says a farmer planted 5,000 grains of maize. 5,000 grains of maize and harvested 5,000 cobs, each bearing 500 grains. Wow! The number of grains, have, this is corn. Okay, let's say corn for example. So let's call everything here the full cob. Each of the seed, let's call it grain. Now, the farmer planted 5,000 grains, which means each of these dots 5,000. At the end, he harvested 5,000 cobs, 5,000 of these. And each of these cob had 500 grains. So, 500 grains. 5,000 cobs. That simply means if you are converting the cobs to grain, you simply multiply by how many grains are in each cob. So the total grains harvested, grains harvested is equals 5,000 cob times grain in each cob, 500. That is harvest, uh, the total harvested. And this should give you 25, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. And what are we required to do? What is the ratio of the number of grains sold to the number of grains harvested? That is the question before us. What this simply means is sold ratio harvested. And when you are dealing with ratio, Two of the quantity must be in the same unit. You cannot be you can't do ratio of meter to centimeter or liter to kilometer. No, they have to be in the same unit. That is the reason we converted the cobs to grains by multiplying by how many grains in each cob. So that here is grain, here is grain. We don't do cob to grain or grain to cob. They must be in the same unit. That is the first rule of ratio. Ratio and proportion. The difference between ratio and proportion is that ratio is usually in form of expression while proportion is in form of equation. If two ratios are equal, then they are proportional. If I say S ratio Y is equals 1 over 2, it simply means that they are proportional. It simply means S ratio Y is equals 1 ratio 2. Since they are proportional, they are proportional you then you can solve them as equation to have 2s is equals y. If I say s ratio 2 is proportional or is equals 2 ratio 3, this simply means that s over 2 is equals 2 over 3. Cross multiplying, 3s is equals 4 and s is equals 4 over 3. So proportion usually leads to equation in form of equation. That's the dichotomy between proportion and equation. 
So the grain sold is five thousand. Harvested two point five million. Four. That is it. Is the answer. But we need to break them down to the simplest. 2.5 million can be divided by 5,000. 5,000 here, 1 ratio. 5,000 here, the three zeros cancel this three zero. Then you have 2,500 divided by 5. 25 divided by 5, that is 5. So everything here is 500. In essence, 5,000 divided by 5,000 is 1. 2.5 million divided by 5,000 is 500. We use the same number to divide both sides to just break it down. If this were exactly in the option, then you can pick it, but it is not in the option. So this is what is in the option. So option D is the correct option. And don't let option A confuse you. Option A has the other side to be correct, but this first side is 5,000. It is not 1 ratio 2.5 million. It is 5,000 ratio 2.5 million. So you need to get it and get it clear. A man donates 10% of his monthly net income to his church. That means a man pays tithe to his church. If it amounts to 4,500 naira, what is his income? His tithe is equal 4,500 naira. So if his tithe is 4,500 naira, what is his income? 10% of his income is 4.5. His income is simply 4.5 times 10 since he gave out 10% and that is 45,000 naira. Or you simply say that a man gives 10 over 100. Percentage is over 100. So 10 over 100 of his income and this amounts to 4,500 naira which means 10 over 100 of his income is equal to 4,500 naira. Of speaks of multiplication, his income, let's call it S, unknown. S in mathematics means we don't know, so we want to know. Times S is equal to 4,500. So multiplying 10S over 100 is equal to 4,500. If you wish to Cancel from here. Nice. If you wish to cross multiply, anything you wish to do, so long you get the same answer as mine, you are correct. So S is 45,000 Naira. That makes option D the correct option. And this question says A man bought 200 mangoes at Four for 2.5 naira. 200 mangoes. 200 mangoes. So, mangoes. 200. At four for 2.5 naira. Four equals 2.5 naira. 30 out of the mangoes got spoiled. Wow. 30 spoiled. Which means good ones is equal to 200 minus 30. That is 170 good mangoes. And the remaining were sold. Okay. Oh, 30 got spoiled. The remaining 170 were sold at 2 for. 2.4 naira. So it, it didn't sell them one one. It's selling, it adding them two mangoes, 1.5 naira. You go to market. How much is your uh, mango? They'll say one is 20, uh, 20 naira, but three is 50 naira. You know those logic. So that is the catch this person is using to sell the market. And we're asked to look for percentage profit or loss that the trader made. So observing this question, something comes to mind. What is the cost price? How do you calculate cost price for this type of question? 
the cost price is simply the quantity bought over how much is selling per one like um a trader bought 200 mangoes at four for 2.5 naira so the number the person is selling it total quantity bought divided by the number he's selling times the amount he's selling this is the cost price in other words if you see question like this to get the cost price divide the unit the quantity is selling the person is selling together by the total amount bought and multiply by the price per the quantity so this will give you the cost price that is 125 naira similarly the selling price is equals no longer 200 because the trader is selling 170 so 170 then 2 2 2 for 2.4 naira this is 170 over 2 times 2.4 that gives you 200 and four naira. Since the selling price is bigger than the cost price, it is obvious that the seller made profit despite 30 getting spoiled. So profit was made. The percentage profit is equals selling price minus cost price over cost price times 100. That is the selling price and if you calculate that very very well you should get 63.2 percent ladies and gentlemen this brings us to the end of the class and your assignment is from the flash signal jump app go to question search search percentage loss percentage profit answer the questions that follow if you have issue with any of them reach me on my line on my social handles Thank you. See you in the next episode.